Dovetails are beautiful and have long been the mark of a master woodworker, but they involve specialty tools and can be challenging to make. I want to see if I can use the power of robots wielding lasers to make these elegant joints. I mean, what could go wrong? A while ago, Xtool gave me their S1 enclosed laser, and from first sight, I wondered, could I actually do some legit woodworking with this thing? I know box joints are kind of like the bread and butter of laser engravers, but my woodworking friends say, all the cool kids do dovetails. I picked up this one little piece of cherry wood from my local hardwood dealer, and I milled everything down to 12 millimeters or one half inch thick. I actually ended up about 11.75, cause whoops, I went a little too far. This is a normal drawer side thickness, so the dovetail should look good in that. Now I need to figure out the laser settings to reliably cut through this 12 millimeter stock. My plan to figure out the right power levels to cut this cherry is to go from 60% to 100% in power, and then go from two millimeters a second up to six millimeters a second in speed. This should tell me the cut speed that I can get away with for a full cut through. Plus, by staying away from that one millimeters per second, we should avoid any fires on this project. Looks like cutting at full power at five millimeters per second barely came out, so I think I should go with four millimeters per second. With this info, I'm gonna cut a quick box joint box to see if the four millimeters per second is reliable. And voila, box joint box. A normal laser project for 12 millimeter thick cherry, easy peasy. One note, I was cutting with the laser focused six millimeters down into the wood. The laser makes an hourglass shape, so by focusing in the center of the workpiece, I should minimize any gaps here, you can see this shape if I hold up a laser cut edge next to a square. Hopefully it isn't a problem as I try to make the dovetails. I hopped into Fusion 360 and made a model of the dovetails. Now the tails shouldn't be a problem as the cut is perpendicular to the face. Perfect for the laser. The pins on the other hand are cut at an angle. So we need a way to cut those angles on the laser. My plan is to use a grayscale image to adjust the laser power for different cut depth. I whipped up some code in Python and generated some test engraving files. At first, I did a giant one from zero to 225, which is the full range of a grayscale image. But then I decided to adjust it to a one to 100% scale because that'll be easier to use that information for determining the laser settings. All of these files and even the Python code will be free to download with a link down in the description. Now off to the test. Well. I guess it didn't fully light on fire, so that's good, but this test sort of failed. I know that I can get the laser to engrave somewhat deep and not just char everything. See, I made a fish. I think I'm gonna try with some larger squares and fewer speeds and then check my max depth and then go from there. Crud, we got fire and I had to stop the test. These edges are all burned up too and I need them to be sharp. I'm gonna try again with faster engraved speeds, but doing it multiple passes. Ugh. Even with 10 passes at 100 millimeters per second, I can't get through 12 millimeters, and it's still burned on the edges. Not only that, but looking at the only square that looks really good on the edges, it seems like I can't even cleanly engrave down to quarter inch. So I made a new test where I'm actually cutting the angle on the edges of the wood to see if it would work in the actual dovetails, and the results are interesting. So first off, when I go slow enough to make it all the way through the whole half inch or 12 millimeter depth, it lights on fire. And it's enough on fire that it's burning the wood around it. It's just not gonna look good. Then, secondly, I've created the classic blunder of forgetting that wood is not a man-made material. It's natural. There's density variations. So when I did the tests, when I had the same speed and power, it came out with different depths. In fact, every single time I did it, it was different. Sometimes it went all the way through, and sometimes it didn't make it through the full depth. And I saw that density variation, not just in piece to piece in the cherry, but also in the same piece of cherry. So half inch, it's not gonna work. But I was looking a little bit closer at the test, and if you only look at the top half, the burning's not so bad, and it can definitely do that. So six millimeters or a quarter inch, I'm gonna try that. So I took some of my thicker material and I made it thinner, and I'm gonna redo those tests. 
I did my test on the six millimeter, and when I looked at the 260 millimeter a second speed of the laser, it looked pretty good, um, maybe 270, wasn't quite sure, but I was kind of sick of doing testing. So I decided just to try uh, cutting some real dovetails in this material, and it turned out great. The very first test, uh, it, it worked. It went together way tighter than I thought it was going to. I just hammered it together, and it looks really good in the black. So then I just quickly, I got super excited and forgot to film. And so then I made another one in a bigger piece that would go together, and I wanted to see how it would glue up and then actually sand it down and put a little bit of finish on there. And it's looking way better than I thought. It's not perfect, there's a couple of gaps, but holy cow, it worked, it really did. Like, whoa, <laughs> I thought this was gonna fail. Now, this is probably only good for like a jewelry box or real delicate stuff. So I'm thinking, even though it looks like the half inch or 12 millimeter might not work, maybe three eighths or nine millimeters will. It took me several days and a whole bunch of iterations, but I made dovetails with a laser. And not just that, it was in pretty thick material and I was able to put it all together to make a real project. Now, I will say the dovetails aren't perfect. I'm still having that burning issue that I was having with the half inch material where it's lighting on fire, where it's really deep. So I'm kind of losing the bottom portion of the pins but I still think it looks pretty good. The other issue that I have is the aesthetics of this dark line around the dovetails. I think if I was using walnut or a darker wood, it wouldn't show up so much, but I think with that burning and the glue, it's mixing in there and really standing out. One thing I was able to do is I was able to shrink the pins a ton, which typically you can only do with hand cut dovetails. And I think that looks a lot more interesting than when I compare it to the drawers in my kitchen. Those dovetails are all symmetric and boring, although they are very tight and don't have that line. Let me know which kind you like better. I was gonna call it quits, but I thought to myself, I can do better. So I went back and I revisited those dovetails. I changed the kerf spacing, and then I also did some adjustments on the laser power, and the dovetails came out way cleaner. I also tried it in walnut, and those lines really did disappear. I think that this looks really nice. Plus, I redesigned the lid so it opens up all the way so it's easier to put your hand in there and get to your fancy salts. If you wanna try making dovetails with your laser, I'll have the files for sale on my website to make this salt cellar, so make sure to check that out. It really helps support the channel. Or if you want something a little bit different, check out these earrings that I made with three different techniques, one of which was a laser. Thanks so much for watching and take care.